Hi, in this video I thought we'd have a little look at some ultraviolet curable solder mask as well as a couple of ultraviolet torches. So what these are are an ultraviolet curable liquid which let's say you've made a mistake on your PCB and you need to scrape away some of the solder mask to make a repair underneath. After you've made that repair you might want to replace the protection that's afforded by the solder mask on your board. So what you do in that case is apply some of this to the affected area and then shine an ultraviolet source onto the gel and after a given period of time it will solidify and become quite a resilient resin on the board. Also let's say you've made a mistake and you want to add a bodge wire to your board you can use it as a glue so you can apply it in a couple of places. Again apply the ultraviolet light and then that resin will um, solidify and the wire will be glued in place. So let's take a little look at the torches first of all. So what we've got is the Light Fay torch here and this is a 365 nanometer ultraviolet torch. Quite a nice form factor. It comes with a clip so that you can uh, clip it into your pocket and it also comes with the uh, little lanyard thing here. You unscrew the end and you can see that there's a o-ring to provide waterproofing and this is actually submergible and you just need to put in a single AA battery so this is a nickel metal hydride battery and you just screw the end back on. There's no focus adjustment or anything like that at this end so it's just a fixed beam and then you've got the power button at the end and that's just a clicky on off switch and it really is quite bright you shouldn't really look into it with the naked eye but it causes fluorescent items to fluoresce quite nicely from quite a distance so it really is quite bright and really quite a nice form factor. So on Banggood it's currently retailing for about £27 so it is quite expensive for this particular one and it is available in 365 nanometer and also the 395 nanometer version. Obviously with the 365 nanometer you barely see the beam but it is that little bit more dangerous because you can't see the beam you could be shining it into your eyes and uh, causing damage. So you can see here that they've designed it to be waterproof up to IPX8 and it weighs 57 grams without the battery. It's about 100 millimeters long and it does say that there's three modes but I haven't been able to uh, replicate that. I think they do do a white version of this torch um, which has the different modes. This purple one does not. So that's the Light Fay torch. Next up we've got the Convoy S2 and this is also a 365 nanometer torch and this is all that came in the box so just the torch and the little lanyard. Again this one is submergible it's got a little black o-ring here and this one takes an 18650 battery so we just insert that into the end. This one feels a little bit better built. Both of them are uh, quite a substantial metal design. Uh, they're really quite nice but uh, this one feels a little bit more substantial. Again it's just got the power switch on the end and there we go we can see it fluorescing at the end and again it looks to be quite a lot brighter actually on this one so this causes quite a lot of fluorescence from quite a distance uh, but yeah this one's a really nice form factor. I really quite like this one and if we have a look on Banggood this one is a little bit cheaper at £22. Uh, you do have to pay for shipping on this one £1.06 uh, but this one supposedly has a 3 watt LED in it. It's um, about 78 grams so it does feel a little bit more substantial and it's also a bit longer so nearly 150 millimeters long. Interestingly there's quite a few little additional bits you can buy for the convoy torches so if you have a browse around on Banggood you can buy different power switches so uh, just at the end here you can get one that lights up when you're using it and that kind of thing. Um, and also there's various modifications that you can do to these so there's a little bit more going on uh, with this convoy series of torches and it is a little bit cheaper so uh, I quite like this one it's uh, really quite nice. Then we'll just have a little look at the mechanic UV curable solder mask itself so if we just go to the Banggood website again and basically you can buy this in six different colours I've got no idea what the shelf life is it doesn't give any indication um, but I would expect that as long as you don't expose it to too much ultraviolet light in its tube it's probably going to last uh, for quite a long time. So what I thought we'd do now is just see how the solder mass liquid behaves because I've not tried getting any of it out the syringe so I don't know how difficult that will be 
and also just see how much ultraviolet light it needs in order to cure, and then finally just how resilient the final product actually is. So I've just screwed a dispensing needle onto the end, and what we're going to try is a simple plunger because not everyone has one of the solder paste dispensers. And first of all, we'll just see what happens if uh, we try and squirt some onto the board. And there we go. So we're starting to get some out at the end there. It doesn't need a huge amount of force on the plunger, so that seems to work quite nicely. I guess next up we'll just see how easy it is to clean up a mistake on the board. So first of all, just try some dry tissue. And that seems to wipe up okay, and then obviously uh, you can clean it up further with a bit of uh, flux cleaner. Let's try that. And there we go. So that's that area nice and clean. So it is relatively easy to clean up. Let's see how it behaves onto ultraviolet light now. So we'll put a big blob here. A little blob. And then I'll put another blob that we're going to spread out just to see how that behaves. And then we'll apply our ultraviolet. So that's about three minutes now. And even this one is still uncured. So it really looks like you can't apply really quite big blobs. I would guess what's happening is the green colour is basically attenuating the ultraviolet light. So it'd be interesting to see if the blue behaves any differently. Obviously, once you've applied a thinner layer, it cures really quite quickly. But yeah, um, this blob was about two millimetres tall, and that's just too much for the ultraviolet light to penetrate. And I'm applying quite a lot of pressure here. And that is really really quite resilient. Let's try using a little steel ruler. So it is possible to chip it off but you can see we're causing the uh, the copper to be scratched as well. I'm applying quite a lot of force here and yeah basically it's behaving exactly as a standard solder mask on your PCB would do. So here we've got the blue. Let's squirt a little bit on the board here. And then also we'll just try gluing down a little bit of enameled copper wire as if you were using it to help with a repair. And then I'll apply the ultraviolet light again. Right, so that's about three minutes with the UV torch now. And what I'm noticing is that um, when it's cured, it starts to fluoresce a lot more than the uncured area. So particularly on thin areas like this, you can certainly see when the thin stuff has cured because it goes from a deep blue under the ultraviolet light to this uh, having this very light turquoise colour. Let's have a look how this has gone. So I've um, put a little bit of enamelled copper wire. Let's try lifting this up. So this is if you wanted to use it to hold your wires in place. And I'm applying a bit of tension here, and it's holding it down really quite well. And it's just starting to break now, but I applied quite a lot of force there. Those two didn't work quite as well, so I think you do need to apply it quite sparingly. It definitely doesn't work very well, um, you know, if you apply it too thick. Let's see what this is like. So this is much thinner and much more closely similar to uh, what you'd see on your own PCB actually. Let's see if it's, uh, in fact, this isn't even scratching on here. So this is a much better application, probably about the thickness that you'd want if you were just reinstating some of the solder mask. And that's re working really quite well. Again, we'll try with the steel ruler. And it does basically just chip off. So that is pretty good. It needs quite a lot of force. So certainly as a solder mask repair, it works really well. So there we go. It's a little look at some UV curable liquid solder mask, and it works really well for that purpose. There is a little bit of difficulty once you start applying it a little bit more thick for uh, holding things in place. So in that case, you might want to look for some proper UV curable glue. 
but in terms of repairing defects on your board or if you've scraped away an area it works very well and the UV torches are also really quite nice the Convoy S2 is probably the better value for money out of the two because it's really quite rugged a nice form factor and obviously takes the lithium 18650 battery which a lot of people will prefer but uh, I really quite like those ultraviolet torches and they have a lot of purposes outside of electronics so uh, something you might want to look at so I'll put the links for these items in the description down below hopefully you'll take a look if you're interested and hopefully you found this video useful but until next time thanks for watching <laughs>